Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we killed the Great Papyrus. And Sans warned us right before we did that, that we'd be in for a very bad time if we went through with it. In this episode, we're going to face the consequences for our actions. Let's go. Yo, are you sneaking out uh, to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> uh, your parents are dead, probably. It's strangely silent. 18 left. Does that mean I can find him right here? I don't think so. I know you could find him here. There's a 2-2 two -two line on the ground. Will you take it? Yes. The ultimate assassin with a ballerina 2-2. Two -two. The rocks aren't falling anymore, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure... I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay, cool. They tell you about that, but... I'm pretty sure you find enemies in this specific area. This is a box. Yes, I know how the box works. Sincerely, a box hater. Uh, let's go ahead and put the melee bandana in there. And I guess we're just waiting. Uh, do I want to go too far into it? It's just like... It's weird. Usually we find the enemies right here and now, but... I know, we're not leaving waterfalls, so I shouldn't be too concerned, just that I'm afraid, like, people have always emphasized that if you go too far, then you could deactivate the genocide run, so I'm just really worried about that. I don't think you could even find enemies right here in this specific area, but... Um, giving it a, there's a door behind there I never noticed before. Um, okay, I don't know how you would get back there, but there is a door behind that stand. I'm going to activate the cutscene with Undyne and get to an area that I know enemies appear. Hopefully that won't do anything bad. It shouldn't, but we'll see. Undyne has no one to talk to. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, she just does nothing. Well, that happened. <sighs> I was not expecting her to become like my favorite stinking character, but she's so stinking hilarious. Not anymore, though. She stinking hates our guts and is going to make sure we pay. Keep on walking. He's with us still. You see that she's staring at it. That was awesome. I don't care. I don't know why this guy's even a character. He's super annoying and dumb. Still says 18 left. Gonna refrain from saving for a bit, just in case. This is already complete. Interesting. What happens if I take one with me, though? Just go with it. It disappears. Um, what happens if I, like, put some in the water? Falls downstream. I wonder if that means anything though that would be insane if like this led somewhere I don't think it does but we could try uh well I'm happy to get her of Aaron just because he's so stinking annoying uh but yeah we found an area with enemies now so I'll just stay here until all of them are gone it says there's 18 I will see you when I kill 18 guys hopefully they're all Aaron It's a smiley face that pops up. 69! Sexy! I like how the first time I get 69, they just say sexy. Cool. Genocide run is officially now worth it. And there you have it. Everyone in Waterfall is dead. Mostly everyone. I guess I don't need to go back, but let's we'll just keep going forward. Everyone's gone in Waterfall. Sort of a weird time this time around. I was in this area, and like, every time I found an enemy, I would leave this space and come back, and then I would find another one. It was just very specific in which I found these guys. But, uh, here we are. This is where Undyne pops up, isn't it? 
Just ride on this platform. And run into Undyne. Nope. Not, not quite yet. There's no papyrus to tell her uh, what a human looks like, but it doesn't seem like that matters. Since everyone else is dead, you can just sort of presume that I am said human that she is looking for. Just run out of here. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. You cannot give up just yet. Human, stay determined. When was the last time I saved? Oh, hey! Brought us back here. That's nice of them. Uh, just to be sure, I'm still in- Okay, good, I'm still in the genocide route. Um, I keep wanting to say Genesis, but thankfully they kept us here because, like, I didn't save after that. I was sort of worried that I would have to fight every single enemy again, but thankfully they had an invisible save point. My favorite. Auto saving the best, except for when it's inconvenient for Let's Plays or something. Yep, yeah, there's a big ol' arrow. There's good ol' Undyne, just shooting the arrows instead of shooting the breeze. Like I would much rather prefer. Uh, just keep on getting out of here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on, okay. Go over here. Stay up, yeah. I, I know how your cycle works, apparently not. Also, her attack is like a million times more deadly in the genocide route, I believe. I feel like we had a chance at not getting her uh, before, but now it's just all like, I'm gonna murder you. Uh, okay. And this is where we stop for whatever reason. Undyne comes in. Gonna grab the stupid kid, which sounds very gross out of context. Don't uh, quote me on that. Uh, let's see. Stab the kid. Oh no, I've been impaled. Puts him back down. Didn't she throw him before? And that's it. Um, he's not, okay, I was wondering, like, was he actually dead? Did she stab him? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again, man, you are unlucky. Well, left, okay, I don't care. Just really want to drop this kid off a cliff. I'm really excited for that part, because it's like the one character I don't actually like. Uh, suck to the table. Determination, that's all it says, okay. I'll take that as my uh, sign that I'm still in the genocide route. It'd be weird, it'd be unfortunate if, like, we couldn't die during the genocide route, that would be lame. Uh, up here, the guy is in here to sell, uh, bicycles to us. Uh, no punch card segment either. Uh, the turtle salesman will be gone, so we could steal from him his shop, probably. Uh, there was nothing down here, right? N oh, wait, there was. Huh. I can't remember what's down here. Nobody came. Trying to remember, not, this isn't the way to Temi's place. It is, it's not progress, is it? No, that would be to the right. Uh, hopefully I'm not messing stuff up. Went in a big old circle. Oh wait, there was some sort of item perhaps? I don't know, what's up here? Only one way to find out. It's, oh, it's the stupid fish. I don't wanna stare at him. Oh yeah, it's where the ballet shoes are. Take the ballet shoes, get ourselves a new weapon. Become more powerful. Very, very nice. Even though we kill all the enemies, so it's sort of pointless at this point. What does it say? The power to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. Uh, maybe he won't be here because I killed everyone. Maybe, possibly. Was he a Washua in disguise this entire time and now he's dead? Yay, he's gone forever. I'm so happy that we don't just stare at that stupid thing anymore. Um, hello. Wait, 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 Shiren. We're fighting a character. Shiren hired, maybe it's like a mini boss or something? Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay. This doesn't count as like a new area, does it? One, I guess. Uh, hides a great treasure. Uh, that's where we find that magical artifact, right? We go up there, the annoying dog takes it, I'm pretty sure. A, wait, a piano. Oh, yeah. Can't remember that song. I want to go back to the left because there's so many pathways. I don't remember, like, going all the way around. I'm going to cut away real quick to the cheese table. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Now, I'm just sorry I'm getting super paranoid with all the branching paths. I just don't entirely remember everything. This is the bicycle area. 
not not in stock anymore because he's dead probably or he ran away go over here oh that's all that was this entire time if only i had just gone over there to check then i wouldn't have had to backtrack this entire way great sorry for being super stinking paranoid but uh just want to make sure i got my bearings straight and all that jazz I guess I could use this time to talk to you about whatever the fruit. I finally finished The Ancient Magus Bride. It was an anime that I've been super looking forward to for so long, and um, I've wanted to watch it for so long, but I felt like it was going to be one of those shows that I wanted to watch in one sitting, so I waited for it to be fully uh, released before watching it. And it is a really, really stinking good show. It wasn't as mind-blowingly amazing as I thought it was going to be, but it was still really fantastic, and I think you should watch it. Also, because the... A uh, voice for Chisei, the main character in the English dub. Uh, she is voiced by Danny Chambers, who voices Teresa on my channel, believe it or not, which is very, very cool. I actually uh, didn't know she voiced Chisei when I asked her. I um, first uh, heard her in a uh, Nintendo LP, aka Audaciously Awkward, aka Chillaxes of Phoenix Wright LP, and that's where I discovered her from. Which was really interesting, so uh, when I went to ask her, I then found out she was an Ancient Mage's Bride, I was like, oh god, uh, maybe I shouldn't be asking her because I'm not important enough or I'm not worth her time, but she was very kind and willing to help me out with it, and here we are now, Teresa has a wonderful voice. Uh, please take one, I'm gonna not take an umbrella because I don't want uh, that guy to get... Oh wait, no, I need that to do the thing, right? I... The Ancient Treasure... Is that the optional thing with a dog, or is that, like, progress of some kind? Uh, let me see if I can remember this. It was... What's the song? I'm gonna look it up. And there you go, I solved it without using the thing. And yeah, it is just for the artifact thing. Legendary artifact, will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Apparently you can't get this artifact no matter what you do. It is just a joke by the- He disappears, that jerk. And our items, he is here again. Annoying dog, drop. You put the dog on the ground. He's in space, and he goes and takes it anyway. It's impossible to get the artifact. The dog absorbs the ar artifact and runs away. The artifact is gone. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's just a joke thing. It doesn't lead to anything. So I was always worried that it would lead to like the true ending of some kind. But no, it's just another annoying dog thing that doesn't amount to anything in the end. The statue of the structures at its feet seem dry. I'm not going to take the umbrella because I don't want the kid to be happy and whatnot. Just gonna walk over here, come along and make me feel like happiness is filled with blue. I'm so happy I can never remember the lyrics to that song even though I really like it. And I'm so happy, come along and make you feel like happiness isn't true. Because I'm gonna murder everyone, starting with the stupid kid like you. Uh, just keep going. <laughs> Fun going down, and the rain is just ever so conveniently falling right on us and nobody else. Uh, so one time we had a school. Yeah, we heard about that already. Uh, like I'm thinking, yo, she could be beat up all the teachers. Nah, we don't care. Just want to make sure he didn't say anything new or interesting. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Show me the cliff where I could throw you off already. Where's the castle? I'll always love this scene though, even though it involves the stupid kid. I just love this castle scene. Love the stars up there, love just the angle of everything. Uh, there's umbrellas, I'm not going to give it to him. Climb up on his back, and we're good to go. Ow, yo, try being a little less rough, haha. <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through later. Any trips. I think that dialogue was a little bit different than last time, but... Over here we got Determination. It's kind of interesting that there's a, going to be a level cap because there are only X amount of enemies in the game, but it's not going to be like 99, I assume. It's going to be just a certain amount. And here comes Undyne. I kind of wish the human would just go for it because like they know they could get away with it. They know all the attacks that are coming before they happen. So here's the thing, like I don't know if the human is uh, being able, like when going through Papyrus's puzzles, I don't know if the human didn't bother because 
they knew of them already from the pacifist route, or if they're just evil so they're not going to give Papyrus the time of day, they just think he's stupid so they're not going to humor him. I don't know which one it is, so it's sort of interesting that I'm sort of left in the dark on who this character is. And it's interesting that they can make that twist in a silent protagonist sort of game. They left us guessing on who we're even playing as, which is fascinating. <laughs> I don't think any other game has done that to me before. Uh, this way is the wrong way, probably. Uh, but things are getting faster, which makes me think I'm making good progress. I don't think there are branching paths, like different exits to this area, so I think we're good to just keep on going. Uh, then up here, go back down. And I actually got through without running into anything, hooray! Uh, probably spoke too soon, because it's still happening. Uh, but now it's all slow and whatnot. And the dead end. Cool. Uh, but she doesn't show up this time. Hello? You're supposed to, like, cut me off and have me fall into the underground. Are you seriously not coming this time? Yeah, there you go. So do I run backwards now, or... Or you're gonna cut off a very large chunk this time, okay. Not sure what that's about. Thank you. 